Hello guys and gals, my name is Daniel and welcome to another episode of Squad Morale Restored. Today we are embarking on the slow collection of trying to gather up um, and afford the components to build a Reaver Battle Titan for um, the Horus Heresy and possibly 40k. So today the first part of this uh, set arrived which is one of the weapons the um, Gatling Blaster so let us have a look inside I'm sure these used to be delivered in just like a plastic bag in a nondescript box and um, I have had some models like that in the past but thankfully we've got something a little bit more presentable especially considering like the price of these little beauties so we've got components in bubble wrap and instructions and put that over there we've got our little standard issue building resin model kits checked by WS so whoever you are WS on the 1st of October of last year I am going to check out your checking out abilities. Um, okay, so we've got instructions for the Gatling Blaster. It's a rather impressive kit, very good for mowing down infantry. Um, so let's see how many parts there are. So we've got, so it's not a very large, okay, so it's not a very large, um, Kit, or rather, it's not a very a, a kit with lots of different parts. So we have six barrels, the um, no, 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 what's that? The barrel brace, so this like cog type thing, and we've got the rotary mechanism. So these are supposed to, of course, spin around during shooting, and then we've got the magazine, the couplings, and the breech. I believe that's called. Yeah. Okay, and if you want to have a close look at that, just do a little freeze frame and then come back. Stage four is unused for the Mars pattern reaver. Interesting. Okay, I'll put that one aside. Now, I've not had many kits from Forge Worlds, um, but nearly every kit has had problems. Some of them are the typical little air bubbles, nothing to write home about, and others have been quite shocking misalignments that can't really be repaired or fixed, and at this price point, why would you want to? Um, especially since um, when I have had replacement parts sent that are pretty much perfect, you would think that would do that the f um, before sending them. Okay, so we have one bag of parts. Um, this is going to be the first Titan I've actually uh, actually built or seen. Um, and already I'm getting an idea of the sheer scale of these things. Um, I've always liked the Reaver Titan ever since playing Epic back in the day. Um, and even even more so now with the Adeptus Astartes. Adep Adeptus Astartes. Adeptus Titanicus. Right, come on out, you lovely parts. Okay. Wow, that's heavy. So we've got... Let's see if we've got all the parts first. We've got two, three, four, five, six barrels. We've got these coupling whatnots and the brace. The bottom bit and the top bit and this thing. Okay, so let's start with this first. And first impressions, really rather good. We've got, oops, hold on, hang on. It's better than the cameras, to be honest. There we go. So we've got nice crisp detailing there. So this is going to form the back part of the gun, I believe. Yep, lovely. Okay, now I've got the two moulds are going to line up here, probably along here. And that is now to vote. That is going to be really easy to clean up. 
No problem at all. This is such a weighty chunk. Yeah, moving on to this with the now I believe it's debossed if it's inset as opposed to embossed if it's raised up. Um, so the debossed Aquila looks pretty fantastic. Detail around it, all these little sharp feathery bits is all present and correct. Uh, come to the underside. Nothing to see here. Okay. And the interior, we've got a couple of little shims to take off, which is, there we go, a couple of little shims, these bits here. And there's just standard things that I will just trim off, no bother. Um, okay, impressions are, this is pretty much awesome. Yep. So I do like how they've chosen to put the gate, this chunk where they sort of lifted out of the mould. On the end, that's going to have more pieces on because it covers up. It allows you to put, um, it doesn't mess up the detail. Whereas if it was on this side, you'd be forever filing, sanding, filling and so on. So that's a nice little bit. I wonder if this um, um, component is newer. It, it just has a look about it as if it's a more recent creation. Um, okay, so, yep, very happy with that. A star, Mr. WS, or Mrs. WS, or Mr. WS. And now we've got the breech bit. So this is the bit that you're going to definitely see on the top, oops, on the top of the gun. And again, let's have a look around. We've got mm, a smidge a smidget. Oh, yep, yeah. Uh, the more regular um, viewers might notice I've still got some abad on black under me now. <laughs> okay. I've got a little smidge of damage there, but that's an out of out. We'll clean that up. No bother. It's good. All these like, rivety bold things are well formed. It's no sort of dings or dents. I'm sort of, I don't know if you guys can see this. If you look at the light catching on this, it looks... I wonder if this is a new... I'm suspecting this is a new um, model, a uh, new model component, because you can sort of see all these little thin lines. Um, the new resin kits tend to be from a mould that's 3D printed. And just sometimes... You can kind of tell all the little lines. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, lovely sharp detail, nicely formed. Um, no, no problems at all there. I'm, to be honest, I'm really impressed so far. Um, I don't like finding um, any issues. Um, and so far, I've got nothing to report, so... Let's check the even smaller components. Um, right, so the breech, uh, the breech brace, the breech brace is okay. Oh, I did not realise there was like extra detail inside. I thought it was just like a, a flat. It was just like a flat um, part. Okay, so that looks fine. The couplings, looking for any kind of misaligned, whoops, misaligned knobbly bits. Looks good. This one looks good too. Crikey, we're going well so far. Three for three. Um, it's to be honest, it is the problems of misaligned moulds and things which put me off more than the actual cost of the Forge World Minis. Um, although the the cost does pay, uh, well, does <laughs> does pay its play its part because. They are, it is kind of expensive. Um, yeah, it's the sort of the buying process or the receiving and satisfaction process that puts me off more. Um, I don't mind paying more for a product that's great. Um, it's the fact that 
when something comes, I'm not like looking forward to it turning up thinking this is going to be brilliant. I'm really looking forward to assembling it. My first reaction is, okay, what's going to be wrong with it this time? And how many parts do I need to complain about and get sent out? I mean, to be fair, Forge World, yeah, they do send out replacements really quickly, no hassle, but I prefer not to have to do it in the first place. And I mean, it must cost them enough having to send out more parts than it is just putting the checking the parts properly in the first place and putting them in. Okay, so again we've got this rotary bit. Um, barrels, these really are lovely. Very well sort of turned out indeed. Yeah. And sort of make out the little print, 3D printer lines going sort of from like along here. As I say, I've not been um, building Fortnite molds for long enough and the Titans are, have definitely been out of my price range and, well, I suppose still are, just about. Um, so I am assuming this is a new weapon. Oh, hang on, we've got a... Oh, good God. We have got some kind of a year stamp on 2018. Don't closer. I'm pushing the limit of the macro. You guys can probably see it better than me. I think that is. Crikey. I'm going to go with 2018. I can't go with anything at the moment. Come on, camera. There we go. That should be a bit easier to read. Right, so again, we're now four for four. This is pretty much unheard of. And <laughs> leaving the most precarious bits to last, we have the barrels. I have built the Acastus Knight Porphyrian and all four of its weapon barrels needed replacing. So this is a bit I'm dreading, <laughs> to be honest. Now let's have a look. So let's look down the barrel of the gun. Um, actually, let's not. Let's look down the sides of the barrels. So I can sort of see where the mould went together. But that's now to vote. That's easy to sort out. Crikey, this has gone really well. Okay, so, yep, a little bit of clean up there. Gate is going to be fairly easy to remove. Little tiny air bubble that will fill. Yep, really good. Crikey. Okay, one down, five to go. So, let's have a look at this one. Again, we've got this. Oops, come on, camera. Okay, so again, we've got this little um, mold. I don't know if it's a mold. I don't know if it's a mold slip or just like where the molds have been put together. I would say it's a slip because it looks okay. Okay, let's have a look at the the business end. It's got quite dark in here all of a sudden. It's a typical British summer. We are kind of warm-ish, humid, and any minute now we'll have a huge downpour. That is amazing. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying this is amazing. I'm more surprised that the components seem to be what I've paid for rather than what I'm expecting or what I'm used to. Um, although I'm looking forward to building, or eventually to get my hands on the Reaver body to build it, um, I do have a certain amount of dread, because I know it's an older kit which hasn't been designed to the same specifications as like the new ones, like the Nemesis one on the Warlord. 
So I am a little bit wary. Again, looks great. Let's have a look at the barrel. Um, barrel looks spot on as well. The barrel end looks spot on as well. What would you guys do with the um, the bores of here? Would you drill them out? I think it looks like it's got a it's like a um, concave barrel end. I'm intrigued about whether to try and drill it more or leave it as such. Hmm. Okay, so three down, three to go. Whoop, that's not done any good. So we've got the we've got the out of focus shot again. Hmm. Okay. No, nope, not okay. Now okay? No. I'm glad I'm not live streaming this. Come on. Okay, so again, that's a little better closer, a lot worse. Worse. <laughs> yeah, I think it must be the low light we've got. Okay, don't make it any better. Nope, it's not making it any better. How about that? Mm, oh, that's, I think that's done it. Oh, that's, that's better. Right. Okay, so again, we are looking at some pretty swanky barrels, to be honest. Okay. Right now, am I, am I getting too far ahead of myself? Are we going to come up with some complete pig's ears of barrels? And so far, so good. Mm -hmm. Looking good. So let's look at this thing where the mould lies, but that's you can hardly feel it, and a little bit of sanding or what have you will sort that out. The barrel tip has all the detail there. All the detail. Oops. I don't have much luck here with the focus. Right. Yeah, so we've got all the detail there. Right, last one. <laughs> Could this be the first ever Forge World Kit I've had where there's absolutely nothing wrong with it? Oh. Like nothing out of the ordinary. Looks fine. Blimey. <laughs> okay. Looks good to me. So, um, I don't know what to say. I was expecting this to be a slightly longer video, uh, complaining about various parts of um, uh, parts of this model to be off center or out of tree or just generally mangled or something. Um, but kudos to Forge World. They've produced. Um, <laughs> it is very weird to actually try and congratulate them on producing something that is in a condition that you are happy with. But, um, yeah, I'm aware that um, the resin type process isn't as clean as the, like, moulding plastics and such like. But even so, well done them for uh, actually giving me a complete kit. Just check, everything is here. Yep, so for giving a complete kit with all the parts, that require very little cleanup at all. Um, and I have this w, mysterious WS to thank. Um, so next time, I'm hoping to have another 
um, another weapon to show, another arm to show. Um, I'm wondering if you can actually mount these to the instead of the carapace, instead of the missile launcher. I'm wondering if you can actually mount these to the, the top. Um, if any of you guys know, please leave a note in the comments below, and uh, that would be much appreciated. Um, so, until next time, I hope you enjoy this sort of slow burn of a series on collecting and eventually assembling a Reaver Battle Titan. Um, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time. So, happy hobbying, and you take care of yourselves.